Three of our experts worked hard for 15 days to build this best DSLR camera after testing 15 DSLR camera in our lab. In addition, we read plenty of online reviews and customer feedback for these. Number 1. Canon EOS 80D. This is the best Canon camera for photographers who already know the basics and want to move on to a camera that offers both image quality and versatility without costing a fortune. The EOS 80D has a 24.2 megapixel APS-C sensor with dual pixel CMOSF, so unusually for a DSLR, it offers speedy autofocus in live view shooting using the screen on the back of the camera, not just in regular viewfinder shooting. The EOS 80D doesn't shoot 4K video, alas, only 1080. Number 2. Nikon D7500. Nikon fans looking for an all-round equivalent to the do-it-all Canon EOS 80D should take a look at the Nikon D7500. Also designed for enthusiasts, it offers a slightly faster 8fps continuous shooting speed, a proven 51-point autofocus system, and the ability to capture 4K video. It has a tilting rear screen rather than the fully articulated design on the EOS 80D and relies on slower contrast AF in live view mode, the D7500 also has a lower resolution, 20MP versus 24MP, but in real-world shooting, its high-performance sensor delivers images which are just as sharp as the Canon's. Either camera is a Number 3. Nikon D3500 if the Nikon D7500 and Canon EOS 80D are way more than you need, then the Nikon D3500 could be just a ticket, especially as it ranks as our best Nikon camera. Beginners are often worried about DSLRs being complicated, but the Nikon D3500 has a brilliant guide shooting mode that acts as a fully interactive tutorial on photography, delivered via the rear LCD screen. The rear screen is fixed, and you're limited to full HD video rather than 4K, but the 24 megapixel sensor delivers super sharp images, and the retracting 18 to 55 mm kit lens is rather good too. The D3500 is small, light, cheap, and very good. Number 4. Canon EOS Rebel SL3. Canon EOS Rebel SL3 EOS 250D has a Vari angle touchscreen on the back and a sensor with Canon's dual pixel CMOS AF technology, so the autofocus in live view is really snappy. We also love the fact that you can start from a simple guided user interface when you're still learning and then switch to the standard setup when you feel more confident and want more control. The Rebel SL3 EOS 250D is a replacement for Canon's older Rebel SL2 EOS 200D, adding 4K video and better live view autofocus, but the previous model is still on sale, and we still really rate it, especially if the prices fall. Number 5. Nikon D500. Nikon D500 is at the top end of the price scale, compared to other APS-C format Nikon models, but it's still way cheaper than the company's full-frame D5 model. It's designed to offer much of the speed and robustness and all of the autofocus performance of the D5, but in a much more affordable body, all because it uses the smaller APS-C sensor format. The D500 is ideal for amateurs looking for pro sports shooting capabilities and pros who need a second backup camera. With its super-fast 10fps drive rate and exceptional memory buffer capacity for up to 200 RAW files, the Nikon D500 is a spectacular Oh, 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 oh.